Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today we will continue our lesson about how to config Profinet scanner with a Profinet controller by using Provisi Machine Edition Part 2. Okay. In the previous video, we already learned about how to uh, create by using only uh, one module of Profinet scanner with the hardware configuration. Okay. So in part two, I will focus. Yes, add one more about uh, two modules of uh, Provinet scanner. Yes, number one and number two. So uh, let's go to our software to configuration more. Yes. So I will choose the uh, existing project because we already added the Profinet scanner one module already yes so uh, to create one more Profinet scanner number two let's go to uh, right click here and then add IO device and then let go to here yes and choose the same as uh, part number of the module IC 200 PNS 001 ok and then click ok yes so it will uh, generate one more for uh, PNS yes PNS number 2 and then uh, we will choose this one to the variable mode 2 also yes And I will map the address. Example node zero one node zero two slot zero four PNS in yes. And uh, we will provide the thirty two points yes thirty two bit for input. And the output also we can map the address map the variables node 01 sorry node 02 slot 04 pns out and we will provide 32 bits also yes and then I will add the one more for power supply yes so right click and add the power supply 002 yes and then uh, let create yeah click here and then create yes like this and the address is uh, 192.168.0.3 and this is the name that we will uh, go to uh, Provinet and then uh, fill the name and the IP address after we create uh, the I.O. modules okay so to create add the I.O. module so uh, right click and then change yes here in this uh, module I will choose only uh, digital input one card and digital output one card okay so digital input I will choose MDL650 and for digital output I will choose MDL750 okay okay right now we uh, already create the IO modules for module number two yes so uh, we will uh, download yeah save the project and then download again 
yes and I will stop the CPU because we uh, will download the hardware configuration yes okay I will run the CPU Yes, uh, right now the setup of connect not yet, yes, not yet show the LED for connect because we uh, not yet set the IP address and uh, module name for uh, ENS number 2. So uh, let's go to set, yes, the name and the IP address of it. Okay, let's go. So uh, module number two here is the name and the IP address. So I will control C for copy the name and then go to the tool and utility. Yes. And then click Profinet DCP. Yes. And then choose the local area connection and then refresh list, device list. Okay, right now you see uh, this module don't have the IP address yet. Yes, so uh, I will pass the name yeah, and set the name. And the IP address is, yeah, I can copy also. And go here, pass, yes, and 255.255.255.0 for subnet max and then click set IP information yes let refresh again okay right now we uh, already assign the IP address and the name of the module for uh, PNS number 2 yes so uh, I will show again yeah so the, right now it show the LED connect you see here it means that uh, it can communication between the Profinet controller yes here and the Profinet uh, scanner number two and uh, number one also yes so uh, let's test the IO for confirm so this one uh, start from person Q number 32 right so let's go to test and then force 32 sorry uh, 33 so 33 here Okay, I will force. Yes. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay. Let's see the scatter on the POC again. Okay. Right now you see the point is on for uh, digital output because uh, I already forked the signal from the our software yes so uh, let's go to remove force so uh, zero, 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 zero. Okay, keep only one and see the stator again. Okay, right now you see this uh, one on only one points for uh, the digital output module. 
of uh, scanner number two, Robinet scanner number two, yes. So uh, that's all for uh, how to config the Provinet scanner number two. Yes. So thank you very much for watching my video. And if everyone have any question, please drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. And uh, before end, I would like to uh, request all of you to uh, like, share, and subscribe my channel also to get more new notifications and more new videos that I will create soon. Okay? So, uh, in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos. Bye-bye.